Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of multi vendor marketplace agent payment for the WooCommerce platform by Webpool. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the customers would be able to make use of the agent payment uh, at the checkout time, uh, which basically allows the customers to make use of their uh, uh, ATM cards or the credit cards or debit cards uh, for making a payment for the order that they are going to place within the multi vendor marketplace uh, for the WooCommerce platform itself. Apart from that, we'll so show you the initial configuration that is required uh, from the admin's end, how he can set up basically the agent payment. And uh, lastly, we'll be showing you how the sellers would also be able to set up their account information uh, that would be used for uh, basically transferring the amount of the product uh, to the sellers itself. So uh, before we proceed further, let me give you a small gist about this uh, plugin and then I'll take you to the customer front end to show you how a customer would be able to place the orders using the multi vendor marketplace agent payment for the WooCommerce platform itself. So uh, basically the agent payment uh, helps the marketplaces to uh, function in an efficient way and uh, the configuration of the module basically allows the uh, display of the payment method at the time of checkout and uh, the admin basically can manage the payouts payouts for the sellers with the help of the uh, integration that we have done and uh, basically it makes the all of the transaction processes more efficient and effective and thus allowing maximum conversion rates and the deduction of bounce rate and it's a perfect solution for any marketplace that requires faster and quicker checkout procedures and uh, and the agent game gateway basically uh, payment gateway basically supports multiple currencies that are like dynamic dynamic currency conversion dcc so basically the dcc um, uh, thing uh, that is there it basically helps the customers to pay for the orders uh, that have been placed in other countries using their home currency itself so well uh, now let's go to the front end and let's see how the customer can place the order using this particular plugin itself so right now i'm at the uh, multi vendor marketplace uh, for the woocommerce at the uh, storefront as you can see right now and i'm on the uh, my account page here so I'll be logging into my customer account and for that I just need to enter my username and the password here on the left hand side and thereafter I'll just tap on the login button. So uh, that brings up my uh, dashboard here as you can see and the account menu options that I have as a customer. So now let me go to the shop page where all of the products are listed within this particular, uh, within this particular plugin itself and uh, let me add this product and this product to the cart and thereafter I'll just uh, move to the checkout so uh, on the checkout page uh, the billing details are auto filled for uh, the customer and on the right hand side you can see the uh, order details like the uh, subtotal for each of the products that are there the total amount and the uh, shipping that has been selected for this particular order that's going to be uh, placed by the customer apart from that you can see the tax and the total as well now here under the uh, payment methods uh, the customer can see the marketplace aden uh, payment method that can be used for placing the order so i'll just choose that up and that brings up uh, the uh, section that would be used to pay via the agent now here uh, the customer can enter his uh, credit card number the uh, the credit card owner name expiry date for his particular uh, credit card and then he has to enter the card verification uh, number as well so uh, after the customer has made the payment uh, basically the admin can generate a refund within five days of receiving the order and uh, now what I'll do is I'll just enter my uh, credit card number credit card owner and the rest of the information first so uh, now I have entered my uh, details for my card and here you can see that right now I've used a visa card that is at the top this image for the credit card type and now I'll just tap here on the place order button so now you can see that the order has been uh, received and the order number is 129 and the uh, total was 46, to, uh, 46 there and uh, the payment method is being displayed here as the marketplace agent and the rest of the order details are visible here 
and the payment method uh, is also uh, mentioned here and the total as well so that's how the customers would be able to uh, place the orders using the marketplace aid and payment gateway and apart from that the customer can navigate to my account section and then he can go to the orders and thereafter he just needs to uh, tap on the view uh, button on the actions column to check the details of the order as well so from here as well you can check the details so uh, here you can see the order updates uh, are also visible to the uh, customer so here you can see that the payment was successful and we are processing your order right now and here you can see the marketplace aiden uh, payment method that was used by the customer for placing the order so uh, that was how the customer uh, can make a purchase and now let me log out of the uh, customer account and now I'll just show you how uh, the uh, web store admin would be able to configure this particular payment pl plugin from the admin backend panel for the WooCommerce itself so for that I'll just take you to the admin backend panel now so uh, the backend I'll enter my username password and I'll tap login to log into my backend panel for the WooCommerce uh, platform and now here what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, WooCommerce and under WooCommerce we need to go to the settings option so just tap that up and here uh, under the settings we just need to navigate to the uh, payments tab and that displays all of the uh, payment methods that are there and the admin can manage them as well so the very last one you can see that marketplace Aiden is there we've enabled it and here we can tap on the manage button to bring up the configuration settings for this particular plugin itself so uh, now you can see that we are on the marketplace Aiden and uh, now what we'll be doing is we'll be enabling uh, this particular uh, payment uh, method for the checkout process uh, so that it is available for the customers to choose so you can uh, check this enable Aiden to allow the uh, plugin otherwise to disable it just uncheck that Thereafter, you can set the title. So this is the title that would be displayed to the customers. We had seen that the uh, title was uh, Marketplace Aid in itself. And then we can set up the description for this particular uh, uh, payment plugin. Then we have the sandbox mode, whether you want to make use of this particular uh, payment plugin in the testing, uh, uh, in the testing, whether, that, whether you want to set that for the uh, production mode so uh to choose this for the sandbox mode you just need to check this box for the enable aiden sandbox so basically the uh, sandbox is the uh, testing mode and then you need to enter your uh, different uh, details like the test uh, merchant account the username password the api key client encryption key library token and similarly for the payout details you need to set the username password days and description uh, within which the uh, pay payouts would be done and lastly you can see that we also have the payout review details so you need to enter your username password and you can set up the refund details as well so uh, all of these uh, data that are there like the merchant account username password uh, would be uh, basically got from the uh, Aiden itself so after you've registered there and uh, let me take you to the user guide of this particular plugin and let me uh, show you uh, the different options there and uh, i've just attached the uh, link for this uh, user guide as well in the uh, description section below so for a complete thorough uh, walkthrough or uh, understanding for a clear understanding you can uh, check that user guide step by step so uh, so uh, you know to use this payment method uh, as I've already told you we have to uh, set up different options like the merchant account username and the rest for the uh, for the marketplace Aiden then we can set up the payout details and the payout review details as well so what you can do is you can click to sign up for the Aiden otherwise you can directly uh, log in by tapping here on the uh, login button so this is the page where you can uh, basically log into your account so you can see that I've entered uh, the details and uh, after I've logged in uh, I need to navigate to the account tab and then users in order to get the API credentials then uh, once the admin has uh, 
uh, tapped on the user button the list of web services would be uh, listed so here you can see that the, we have the uh, user list and the uh, web services as well and now the admin just needs to tap uh, on the respective uh, web server as uh, web service basically uh, or which is the web service uh, user for uh, getting the credentials so here you can see that we are on the edit web service user and here you'll get your api key after generating so user account details are there it's active for the authentication you have the api key and the uh, api key is visible here then you have the basic authentication you so for that you have the password and the uh, uh, retype password and you can also generate the password and generate pos password as well so uh, to uh, find the public keys uh, you can just go to the client side encryption section and there you'll find the uh, client encryption public key and the rest of the details as well so that's how we can set up these details here that are in line and uh, for example if uh, right now you can see that I've used the testing mode so for the production or live mode I can uncheck this and then I can set up the all details like we already did in sandbox with the uh, production mode so that was uh, the admin end for this particular uh, payment plugin that's the Aiden and now uh, let's go ahead and let's see how the uh, seller would be able to set up uh, the bank information under his account to get the payout uh, from the admin and before that let me take you uh, to the marketplace and within marketplace we can check the Aiden orders that have been placed so here I'll just tap on the Aiden orders and that brings up this section with all of the Aiden orders and from here the admin can basically manage uh, under the actions column if you'll find the manage button just tap that up to manage the order and from here you can see that uh, the admin can basically transfer the amount uh, under the actions column we have the transfer button so if I tap here on the uh, transfer button you can see that the transfer request has been generated for that particular one and now it can't be used so uh, that was how we can set up the uh, Aiden uh, payment plugin how we can check the Aiden orders and make it uh, transfer for the product amount to the customers and now lastly let's go to the uh, seller end so I'm at the web store front end right now and uh, I'll be logging as a seller by entering my username and password and after login from the side panel I need to navigate to the Aiden bank details I'll tap that up and that will bring up uh, the bank details for the seller so basically seller should also have an Aiden account like the admin had and uh, the funds from the transaction would basically pay out uh, to your bank account on a rolling basis after five days of completed orders so here you need to enter information for the fields here and for a country you'll choose your country you'll set up your bank account number bank name bank city owner name business identification code tax info identification number and the date of birth thereafter you just need to tap here on the submit button and whenever there is a payout by the admin all of that particular uh, payment would be made to this particular bank account itself lastly let me show you how the admin would be able to uh, process the uh, refund for that I'll just log into my uh, admin backend panel so I'll just log in and thereafter I just need to navigate to the uh, orders section so for that I'll just tap here on the orders under the WooCommerce menu option and uh, I'll be able to see the orders that are there now I can tap here on the order link under the order column and that brings up the details of the order and from here we can basically make a refund back to the uh, customer so for this order you can see the uh, order 129 and uh, payment for marketplace aiden is there paid on at the rate of time and the customer ip address is also visible to the admin and to refund he just needs to tap here on the refund button and that brings up this particular section here that has the already refunded amount total available to refund you can enter the refund amount and you can also uh, enter the reason for the refund uh, for that particular order itself apart from that you can basically uh, use the quantity here uh, that is needed to be uh, 
that is ne needed to be updated once again and you can also uh, refund the marketplace uh, shipping as well so I'll just enter my uh, total refund amount and uh, so after entering my shipping amount and uh, setting up the number of uh, products that are going to be refunded and sent back uh, you'll see that uh, the refund amount gets displayed here then you can set up the refund uh, reason as required and you can tap here on the uh, refund 43 via marketplace Aiden that directly sends out the amount to the customer's uh, bank account so I'll just tap on that about the marketplace agent payment for the WooCommerce platform and I hope it helped you out. So if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uids.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.